Hey everybody, it's Kim and I'm here today to do a really quick card for you. In fact, I'm going to be using a couple stamps from Close to My Heart. The first one is called Quick Cards Bumblebee Seasons and Natures. Seasons and Nature. Blah, tongue tied there. It is number A1135. It's in the new catalog and it's really cute. It is a little bee and it says buzzing with good wishes on it. So we're going to use that car, that stamp, and we're also going to use Distressed Backgrounds Flare, and it is D1544. So, sorry I've not been around for a couple weeks. I've been trying to get my, got my craft room back, and I've been trying to get organized. I'm probably as organized as I've ever been since I've lived in this apartment, <clears throat> but I'm still not as organized as I'd like to be, because I'm probably going to be moving again in a few months, and... So I don't want to put stuff too permanently on the walls or anything like that. Anyway, enough about that. We're going to use cocoa ink and honey ink. So two inks, two stamps, and I have my paper already cut to try to make this as quick as possible. I have a piece of brown that is cut at five and a quarter by four. I have a piece of this really cute paper from the Buzz and Bumble um, paper pack. Um, and I have that one cut at five by three and a quarter. And then I have two, another piece of the chocolate brown cut at two and a half by two and a half. And a piece of, I think that's honey, at two and a half by two and a half. And then a piece of white cut at three and a half by three and a half. Okay? This is going to be really quick and simple, nothing fancy. I'm not putting any ribbon, any buttons, any embellishments. It's just a quick card with a quick card stamp. So, the first thing I'm going to do is find my stamp. There it is. And I'm going to stamp the Buzzing with Good Wishes in chocolate on a piece of white cardstock that I just cut it three and a half by three and a half in a square. It's not going to stay that shape or size. You'll see here in just a second. Ink up that stamp really good and just stamp that on. And this is in cocoa, which is a brown, but to me it looks black, but once it dries, it looks, it dries more of a brown. So anyway, I stamp that on there. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit while I'm letting it dry. Instead of cutting it out in the shape, I'm going to just tear this paper. Just start tearing it all along the shape of the stamp. Or however you want. Or if you want to cut it out, of course you can do that. I just wanted this to be kind of rough looking. And we did this in Debbie's class last week. And I thought it looked really cool how it came out. So. Just try not to tear, of course, into your image if you can help it. Okay? So that's the shape I ended up with. And I'm going to ink around the edges with some honey on those little areas that tore. And they'll kind of highlight more than the rest of it will. So see how that kind of makes that stand out there? And of course I got ink on my finger, so I'm getting it on my stamp, which I don't mean to do, but I'm not going to stop for that. I don't want to have 25 takes of this card, so I'm going to go on. Okay, and then I'm going to take my alcohol blending pen. I don't know where my close to my heart markers are right now, so this is a good alternative if you don't have markers or don't have all the colors, you can just squeeze squeeze your stamp pad together and it'll put some ink here on the lid for you and take your alcohol blending pen and I'm going to color in the bee's wings. This kind of gives you the versatility of having every color that you have a stamp pad for even if you don't have that marker color. So I'm going to color in his wings and some of the yellow on his body, where it would be yellow. Get 
you just dip it in there and color with it. And of course this being a uh, chocolate and not the archival black or a memento black, it, it might smear a little bit, but that's okay for what I'm doing here. Okay, so there's our little bee, and I'm done with that color. So I'm just put that to the side right now. Done with that, and I'm going to get my distressed backgrounds out. And I want this one here that looks like a honeycomb. And, oops. And, I have to take off some stamps I already have on this block. There we go. I'm going to take my little yellow piece of two and a half by two and a half. I'm just going to make a bit of a background on that. So I'm only using about half the stamp because I don't need to ink it all up for this little bit, little bitty piece here. My head's going to have to be in the way here for a second. Sorry. Get that straight. And I may not get it straight anyway, but it's okay because we're only going to be seeing kind of the edges of it once I'm done here anyway so that doesn't have to be perfect so the next thing I'm going to do is adhere my bumblebee paper to my chocolate paper and just to FYI this paper is only going to be available in this catalog which is sad because I love this paper so I'm kind of bummed that it's they're not keeping it next time so but I thought I'd throw that out there to you I'm using a little bitty little tape runner here instead of my big old ATG gun today. Trying to keep it simple. And this doesn't really matter how you put it on because the bees are going every direction so there's not really a right side up for that. Let's try to center that. Oops. I'm the worst at this, centering this. Live with that. Okay, and then I'm going to put down my yellow and my brown. As you can see, I already stamped the other side of that and I messed up. I missed a whole little spot, so I just turned it over. That's why there's two sides, right? Then I'm going to just put that kind of there and my chocolate paper. Gonna go like that. And I'm gonna pop this up. And what you can do too with this, um, take some of your liquid glass and color in, or not color in, but just cover up the wings and stuff, and it'll look like that, nice and shiny. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm not gonna take the time to do that because it takes a while to dry. So I just want to do this card real quick for you guys since it's been forever since I posted a video. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. So I'm going to pop that up. I'm just going to kind of put that there, so you got a little bit of each paper showing. And then we're going to put this to our card base, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. And it is, I believe, cashmere. Um, cardstock just cut down to eight and a half by eleven, folded in half. And of course, you can embellish this up more if you want to. Put some bling on it, some buttons, maybe wrap some twine or something like that, but that is a quick card using the quick card buzzing with good wishes stamp set. 
from Close to My Heart. Hope you guys enjoy that and hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.